Chapter 1. Electricity and You In order to understand pyramid energies and the effects on the living system, we must understand the pyramid principles within our own beings first. It is the author's wish to present simple concepts in a component manner and then to assemble the basic components into a simple system that anyone can, with a small effort on his or her part, easily understand. Behind the first principle of matter transformed into flesh is existence of electricity. Electricity has been in our homes for over 50 years. It serves us daily in every faucet of our lives, not only in our homes, offices, and factories, but also in our cars, planes, boats, and, last but not least, our physical, astral, and mental bodies as well. Since Stefan Gray's discovery in 1720, medical science has long been aware that electricity is the underlying faction of all body functions. Food, when ingested, has no nutritional effect on the body until during the last phase of digestion in the alimentary canal, called the Krebs cycle, where it is converted into body heat and magnetism in the area of the small intestine. So, in view of this, you could say the body is a transformer, converting bulk into electricity, which energizes the mind to direct feelings of energy into consciousness. Electricity is composed of electrons and protons, the smallest particles of matter existing on the physical plane. It is vitally important to examine ourselves carefully on the smallest level first, as over the passage of time, the smallest changes taking place in the universe have the greatest effect. Man's greatest buildings could not stand without simple foundations, as a mountain today, subject to a little wind, rain, temperature variation, and time, becomes a plane tomorrow. On a macrocosmic scale, for the sake of comparison, imagine the Earth as a proton and its moon as an electron. The major difference would only be that the electron moves in an orbit a bit faster than our moon. As a matter of fact, the electron moves so fast that if by comparison we were to stand on the sun and view our Earth with a high-speed moon, the velocity of the moon would reflect the sunlight, so we would not be able to see the Earth, and the moon and Earth would appear to be solid. Figure I-1 This, of course, is deceptive to the five senses, as man's eyes are not quick enough to observe changes of electrons and protons. In daily life, this false deception limits our progress until we realize its existence. Once realized, we transcend the limitations of our surroundings and become masters of our own destiny. Yogis have long been aware of this faucet of illusion and call it, in simple terms, maya. Now, as we see the relationship of electrons and protons, it is easy to imagine families of them grouping together. One family unit consisting of one proton and one electron is called an atom, and in this case, an atom of hydrogen. When additional units combine, we get molecules, and when molecules combine, we have the functioning cell, the basic building block of the body. An atom is the smallest unit of an element to retain the chemical characteristics of an element, but it has properties that have been discovered to be the same in every element properties that belong to parts within the atomic unit. The atom's parts consist of a tiny central nucleus encircled by particles called electrons. Most of the mass is concentrated in the nucleus, which for our purposes we can say is composed of particles called neutrons and protons. The electrons orbit in space around the nucleus in successive layers, or shells. All electrons are alike, and so are all protons and all neutrons. The electron has a negative electric charge, the proton a positive one. The neutron has no charge. The distinctiveness of an atom of one element from that of another lies in the arrangement and number of electrons, protons, and neutrons, with the negative electrons surrounding the nucleus held to it and balanced by the positive protons within it. The total number of protons within the nucleus determines the element's atomic number, and since the protons within the nucleus are balanced by the electrons around it, the atomic number is also the same as the number of electrons in the atom. Electrons are the active participants in the formation of chemical compounds and the release of energy into the combustion process. 
When hydrocarbon compounds break up, reform into carbon dioxide and water vapor, and give off heat, the electrons encircling the nuclei do the combining and recombining, while the nuclei remain untouched.